And now the best part of the filling and empties all the trash. Hi everyone and welcome back to Linda Libra Loca. Today I'm going to show you my recent empties, things that I have finished completely along with a mini review and yeah, thoughts if I would repurchase or not. And because I have a lot, I'm going to jump right in, start with the skincare. And the first one is the Pixie Bar Plus Caravan Hyrens Double Cleanse. And there has been a lot of hype about this product and I do am a follower of Carolyn Hirons. I love her blog, I love her personality, at least as far as I can judge from watching her videos. But I was a little underwhelmed by this product. Not because it's a bad product, but it's, it's an okay product. I have to say I really, really enjoyed the cleansing oil, the solid cleansing oil. It's up with my favorite Clarence Take the Day Off. Uh, but the cleansing cream, I'm not sure, I just wasn't too excited about it. It was nice, uh, my skin felt clean, maybe a little tighter than I would have wanted, but all in all, if she's starting to sell the oil separately, I think I'm going to purchase this one, the, the double, no more. Then, two face mists, and I've been really enjoying face mists lately. One, La Roche Posay Zero Sink, um, you have seen that a hundred times on here, great for controlling oil and anti-inflammatory, so a staple in my routine. Will repurchase, have repurchased. And then, Caudalie, the grape water, soothing and moisturizing, it's packed with antioxidants, I really like it a lot, it has a very, very fine mist, and I think I'm going to repurchase. No alcohol, no fragrance, both of them no alcohol, no fragrance, so Great stuff, even for sensitive skin. Then a serum, the Institutum Anti-Wrinkle Brightening Serum. And it was a PR sample, lovely Instagramable packaging. And I fell hard for this uh, serum, which is a shame because it's $180. It has hydrating ingredients. It has niacinamide to uh, combat hyperpigmentation. It has antioxidants, it has vitamin C. Um, I felt like when using this my skin looked brighter, just more awake, more alive. I have been umming and owing if I should repurchase, but the lovely PR sent me another bottle, so <laughs> I don't have to decide quite yet, but I think it's really worth it. An eye cream in this fancy little um, syringe, no not syringe, in this fancy little packaging reminding you of laboratories but yeah, inconvenient to store because it doesn't stand. And it's called DNR Renewal Eye Cream or DNR Eye Renewal Eye Cream. It's supposed to be an eye serum used underneath your eye cream. And the claims of the company is that they have DNA repairing enzymes that help undo the damage that time, pollution, sun, just aging and life in general due to the skin and while there is scientific backup for the claims that these DNA repairing enzymes work there has to be um, a concentration that is reached for them to penetrate and there is no information how much of these enzymes are actually in there and when doing my research for the review of this product, I learned that there was a, uh, an FDA letter to the company to have them um, the product approved as medicine or as a drug if it did what it claimed to do. And as far as I know, there has been no drug um, approval for the eye cream. It's still cosmetics. So I don't think that it really has the power to alternate the DNA because if it had, it would be a drug and used in severe skin conditions. And while it was a nice eye cream, I don't think I'm going to repurchase. And then, the Audacity Pure Elements Green Tea Lemongrass Serum Concentrate. And I'm a little on the fence if I should call this a serum or an oil because it's yeah one of these in-between products. It's uh, either a lightweight oil or an oily serum. The scent is Divine Fresh Lemongrass, but um, it's supposed to give a radiant effect, which it does. It just contains two or three three ingredients which is amazing as well full of antioxidants brightening ingredients great stuff 
Um, I don't think I'm going to repurchase this one, but I have the black cumin and uh, read it up there. The one for blemish prone uh, skin, and I'm excited to give that a go because the brand really intrigues me. Moving on to makeup. You have to trust me on that because everything's wrapped up. This is the Starlook Luxe Longwear Eyeliner Pen, and I got this as a gift from Shireen. Thank you, Shireen. It's ugh, obviously dried out. It's a felt tip eyeliner, one that I like. You can draw a really thin line, you can draw a precise wing. It's black, it stays put all day. It's a little drier than I would have loved it to be, which makes it more precise, but less easy to apply. Uh, yeah, it's a nice one, not one that I'm going to repurchase. Then the mascara, the Manhattan Supreme Lash Volume Colorist with Lash Tint Complex. And my lashes are pretty fair at the top of the lashes, which makes them look shorter than they actually are. And I have my lashes tinted professionally several times throughout the course of my life and really like the effect. And um, this mascara claims that with continuous use it will tint your lashes. And it does. My lashes went from completely blonde at the tips to uh, I think a light brown on the tips, not the effect that I can get with a professional lash tint and yeah. The mascara itself is just natural in finish, so it's not my favorite one. I don't think I'm going to repurchase, but yeah, it depends on your um, on your needs because my mother, her lashes are straight up blonde. She uses this, she loves it, and she loves the effect that it gives. So make up your mind, it does tint the lashes. The Dior, Dior Skin Forever Perfect Cushion Foundation. And this was my first cushion foundation, and it looks completely gross now that it's done. I never got into the hype of cushion foundations because I'm more of a matte kind of girl when it comes to my base and I really, anything that has dewy on top has me running for the hills. But this one is supposed to be matte, natural to matte, which still meant that it's a little too shiny for me throughout the day. It is light coverage, but it really perfects the skin. I like it. It stays put for uh, six to eight hours, a little longer if I powder. But my issue with this one was that it worked when my skin was okay. If my skin was super oily because it was hot, it was breaking up and getting shiny. If my skin had dry patches, it would enhance the dry patches. So if you have lovely skin already, this is going to be a great foundation for you. But if your skin is off balance, either in terms of oiliness or in terms of dryness, this is probably going to take a little more effort. And you can still make it look good, but for me personally, and foundation that is so expensive I just want to put on and probably maybe powder or use a primer but not moisturize and pat dry and then apply and then powder and then smooth over and then use a spray and all that. So long story short I'm not going to repurchase. Another foundation and I can hear you saying this is just a sample. It is, but this sample lasted me uh, more than two and a half months because a little goes a really, really long way. And it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And as I just said, matte and poreless, I'm all in. Sadly, this is maybe poreless, but not matte. This is natural on the verge to dewy and thus not suited for my skin needs. It is great when it comes to staying power, it is great when it comes to offering a natural looking medium coverage, it didn't cake on me, it didn't settle into fine lines, but yeah, the matte one, not my favorite. And a pretty huge container, this is the Clarence Loose Powder and Translucent, all gum. And you have seen me use this in many tutorials. It's a translucent powder, but it really, really helps mattify my skin. It takes the dewiness out of any foundation without looking cakey. And that's amazing for filming. So I used it quite a lot when I did heavier matte base winter and fall looks for the Inspired By series. It is gone now because I did experiment a little with baking and you go through a whole lot of powder when you do baking. 
I don't think I'm going to repurchase because I have others um, that are on rotation right now, the Laurent Mercier one, for example, but it is a really nice product if you want matte skin that does not cake on you. And that's it for my empties. Have you tried any of the products that I have mentioned? And if you have, would you repurchase? Please tell me in the comments below. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any further videos. And I'm going to see you all very soon with another beauty video. Bye.